I feel like people who maybe have just met us would have no idea that we've been through all that we've been through. We're really fortunate. Um, and so our lives from the outside really do look pretty similar to the way that they did. I will say that I, you know, there's a lot of effort that goes into our everyday. Um, and that's what I feel on a day-to-day basis is like the big difference between life then and life now is just like, we're really exhausted um, because these past six years have been exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. And so we love our full life and we wouldn't have it any other way. But we've the price of that is that we're tired and that, you know, things don't go smoothly all the time. And that's just that's just the way it is. The value which drove us back here is the the community, you know, the people that we have been friends with for a long time, the connection to school. To for me, I think it was actually helpful to walk by the site several times. Just go to the market, just go through it, think about it. Uh, I mean, sometimes we'll take the kids there and play because I think it's a it's a way to sort of um, to sort of process all of it you know what i mean and then it sort of disappears like the 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 negative side of it and now it's sort of like a positive thing like oh we're going to the market to get some stuff for dinner you know just reclaim it yeah exactly exactly because everything was out of our control for so long right and now we have this opportunity in life not only to live in a neighborhood that we love to reclaim it as our own and then to put the story in the world through our eyes um in a way where we get to be the storytellers what you would call rehab now is more just sort of like make sure I'm maintenance <laughs> maintenance yeah just re- you know reading and and reading my kids and um trying to be more precise in the way I speak I mean I, a lot of it is just applying rehab that I learned before for like in natural situations like Abby and I or with friends things like that so we both work at the same jobs we were at before which is incredible you know what's crazy about this is I I had a moment I think it was about like eight months into this where I realized we don't ever have to do the same work we were doing before like everything's on the table now we can choose anything Mm -hmm. and we chose to go back and do the work we were doing before because we both were fortunate to have found something that we felt really purposeful in so I'm at the same school teaching where I was teaching before. TC's in the same position that he's in at the same company. Mm-hmm. We're not trying to like ignore all that happened either, too. You know, we're, we're pretty aware of all that. Yeah. It, I think I, I, it's all a deliberate choice. Yeah, oh, yeah, from totally, my perspective. totally. I do remember, and this is in the book, too, when I had that epiphany of we don't ever have to do what we were right. doing before. Yeah. Like, let's get a caravan and, like, take Jack <laughs> around the country. This might be, you know, the perfect time in life because we... You know, we're anchorless right now. You were the one who said, I worked my whole life to be in that job. That's where I'm going back to. And you were very clear about it right away, that everything that you had put in place, that had been a deliberate, you know, wanted decision in your life. Yeah, maybe maybe just me just sort of swimming upstream, be like, despite all that happened, we can still go back to what we wanted, you mm-hmm. know. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Well, we did want. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Yeah. And it feels, but I would say, you know, from the outside, it looks really similar. Uh It feels completely different on the inside. Yeah. 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 It's hard to, I think it's hard to be known as honest. It's hard to see colleagues who are just like really excelling. Mm -hmm. And it's the simple things that I think people don't take, they sort of take advantage, don't, don't really recognize that like everything is very difficult for me. Um, and, I'm just, I'm not as quick as I was before, I'm, but I am so happy just to be there at all, you know? Um, but that, that is, that's like a internal struggle that I, I, I battle with it every day pretty much actually. Yeah, this is so crazy though. Just throw them all in there. This was my therapy from like day 18 or something in the process because that's when I sat down and wrote my first blog. And I had no idea how helpful it would be to share the burden of this experience with others because it took the shame out of it. 
I think if I had tried to carry this alone um, and all the isolation I felt and just all of the grief I was I was holding, um, I think I would have interpreted it as a shameful experience, something that like nobody could relate to. But because I immediately put it out there, I had people coming back to me to say, I know that feeling and I've been there too. And it may be a different circumstance, but I know exactly what you mean. And so then it sort of neutralized it for me. Like, this is all people's experience. Um, I don't need to sit with it alone. I realize so often when we're describing what we love about somebody, we're actually just describing um, a reflection of how they make us feel. Mm. Like, oh, I love the way that he does this for me, or I love the way he makes me feel. And that is everything to do with ourselves and nothing to do with that other person and what's in their core. And so mm. for me, it was this exploration of like, who is TC truly without all of these things? Because we cannot identify ourselves by our abilities. Those abilities are temporary. Um, who is he in his core, in his heart? And what I saw was this incredibly inspiring, tenacious, hardworking person that he had been all along, but I was just seeing it much more clearly. Man, did you get lucky with her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing that she stuck with me, you know, and she, yeah, I'm, I'm, She's my uh, my hero, I would say, for sure.